Hi, and welcome to another video here from plcgurus.net. So you're watching our Studio 5000 Essentials uh, video series. And if you've been following along, in the last video, we created and downloaded a simple uh, motor start stop circuit into our emulated Control Logics controller. So if you haven't been following along, I do recommend that you get caught up in the video series here so you know what you're looking at and you're right on track with us here today. Okay, so what I wanted to start with or what I wanted to do today was to define what's called an alias tag. So you can see here last video what we did is we defined a few different tags here uh, but when we, when we defined them, we defined them as a base tag so they weren't actually tied to any physical or in our case simulate, simulated I.O. So we want to change that here today and then we can make use of some of our toggles that the emulate software actually provides. Okay so to do that we need to go in and edit the existing tags we created. So I'm going to do that by right clicking the tag name and going edit properties. To create an alias tag, what we need to do is change the type. And what is an alias tag? Before we even do that, an alias tag is a tag that represents another tag. So it's you can think of it as a pointer if if any of you have any programming or C experience. Uh, you can think of it as a pointer to another location in memory. And that location that we're going to point to is a simulated or physical or simulated input or output point. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and change this to alias. And then we're going to go ahead and drill in the alias 4 column. And we're going to go ahead and select our data for slot 3. And remember, because we're using these simulated I.O. modules, we have to use this array element 1 word. And we want to hit this little fly out here and let's make it the first bit or bit zero on slot three modules input. Okay, so we just click that and that's it. It's that simple. So now motor start is an alias for the first or IO point zero on slot three of our simulated input module. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click apply and you can see now the tag is actually changed. It's actually between the carrots is showing what this tag is actually pointing to. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead and, and change the motor stop push button now. Again, exact same workflow here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go a little quicker here now. And let's go ahead and make this bit one. Okay, and we're going to click apply. And again, it shows what motor stop now points to, which is the input point one on our slot three input module here. And then let's go ahead and set up this output. And again, that's going to be on slot four. So let's go ahead and change that to alias. And we want our slot four output word now, our data word. And we want to hit the flyout and we'll make it bit zero too. Okay. Okay. And that's effectively it. So again, an alias tag is nothing more than a tag that represents another tag or a pointer to another tag. So again, we're creating our tags, our, our global tags here, our controller tags, are now an alias for these actual discrete input output points. All right, so all that's left to do now is save the project. And let's go ahead and download the project using our WhoActive RSLINK's classic window here. So you can see we have our path defined. You want to make sure that your processor is selected here. And then we'll just click download. And we'll click download. And it's going to go ahead and compile all these routines as per the norm. Make sure we don't have any errors, and which we don't. And we'll go into run mode. Okay. So now that we've actually tied these tags to our simulated I.O. and our emulated uh, virtual backplane here, we can make use of the module property uh, switches here to actually toggle things on and off. So because this motor stop, usually your stop buttons are wired normally closed, which is why I'm using an XIC 
to monitor it, I'm going to go ahead and just flip that one on. Okay, so you can see now if this was actually a, a normally closed stop push button like is most common, um, we are monitoring the on state here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to be an operator. I'm going to go ahead and push my push button on and notice now my output, my motor turns on and my output is sealing in that start button so we can release it. Okay, so I think that's this is a, a very quick nugget. I just wanted to show you aliasing. Uh, it is an important tool that we can use um, in, the, in the Studio 5000 Control Logics platform. And I hope you enjoyed, found this video informative. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out over at https colon backslash backslash plcgurus.net. Thank you for watching.